with a new edition of Apple Voices. I'm Sam Levin. I'm here with Kevin Edwards. And we're here to talk about something fun and new for the Mac. What do you have, Kevin? Well, today I brought the Elgato Turbo.264 hardware encoder. And what that is, is it's this little device right here. It's USB 2.0 based. And what it does is it takes the offloading of the encoding of your video from your computer and it puts it right on here. So when you say encoding, like what do people need this for? People that are, you know, video editors, do they have to be, you know, in the professional business or this device will actually work for anybody who's just a regular consumer who has videos that they've shot with their camcorder or downloaded and they want to put it onto their iPod, their iPhone or their Apple TV, all the way up to I'm actually recommending it to Podtex producers or you know other vloggers or whatever who want to put stuff out there for, for podcasting. Now, Kevin, there's a new update that just came out. Now, why is this significant, especially for you? Well, the key thing is I've had this product now for quite some time, a few months, and it's just been sitting on my shelf. I'm just now starting to use it, and there's this software update that you mentioned. That software update makes this a very useful product. The reason why is because you can customize all kinds of settings for it. You can change the data rate specifically. And what that allows you to do is make much smaller files that are still decent quality or encode to a specific, a specific spec, like one that Podtech uses for distribution. So what's important about that is if you're doing several videos in a row, this improves the whole workflow. Oh, this greatly improves the work workflow. It speeds it up tremendously. Um, one of the things that I found was on my MacBook Pro, I was getting three to four times the speed. Um, when I got my G4, it was speeding things up 15 to 20 times as fast. That's because it's offloading the processing to the device, correct? Absolutely. What's happening is it's taking the processing that your Mac would otherwise be doing and it's putting it on the processor that's in this little device. Which also means that while you use your Mac, you can be encoding in the background and hardly even notice that it's taking place. So what's the price of something like this? This is, I've seen it online for as little as $85. So, it, so it's 99 bucks probably? Yeah, retails, uh, okay. you know, 99 bucks. Um, there's a competitive product from Miglia, um, and that's about 100 bucks retail. Um, but we actually prefer this because we like the software mm -hmm. on this. And for $85, that's a very, very inexpensive solution and utility for people that are doing videos constantly and encoding graphics. Absolutely. And it's a better value the older your machine is. Because on my G4, which is an older machine, I'm able to use this and encode as fast as a newer Mac would. So Kevin, what does someone need? What are the requirements to use the Turbo.264? Well, like I said before, this is a USB device, so you do need USB. Now, it will work with USB 1.1, but you really want USB 2.0. And so any G4 or later that has USB or USB 2.0 will work. Um, if you have USB 1.1, you might want to look into getting an upgrade card. They sell for like 20 bucks, and then you're running at full speed with this. It accepts a variety of different video formats, um, DivX, XVID, MPEG-4, um, MOV, AVI, and so forth. So you have a lot of video formats that you can use with this. So Kevin, how do you use this product? It's pretty simple actually. All you do is you plug it into your USB port. Once you do that, you launch the application, and then you drag a video into the window. In this case, I've got one from Freshtopia. Drag it into the window, and I can select from a list of presets for the iPod, the Apple TV, the iPhone, or even the Sony PSP. Or I can select from Edit and then make all my customized presets that we were talking about earlier, including the data rate for video and for audio. Once I do that, then I can click Start, and it automatically starts encoding. That's really simple. It is. It's pretty amazing. Now, what about other applications? Does it work with other? Sure does. Any application that takes advantage of QuickTime to export can take advantage of this. Now, it won't work with things like Visual Hub or Handbrake, but it will work with things like Final Cut or even iMovie, the new one in iLife 08, works great with it. Well, that's exciting. I can't wait to use this with my MacBook Pro and my older Macs, and I think a lot of us out there have older Macs, so it gives new life for those 
uh, computers that are sitting there. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, I've got you know G4, an older G4 that I'm going to be using as a workstation, and I'll be using the software that comes with this because it allows you to set up a playlist essentially of encoding files to render, and it will do it really fast and really simple, really easy. Thanks a lot, Kevin, for showing us the Elgato Turbo.264, and I think a lot of our listeners will appreciate it. And we're looking forward to showing you a new episode of Apple Voices next week. Check us out at www.podtech.net, and we'll see you soon. We love you. <laughs>